Do you ever have that sense memory or scent memory, whatever it's called? I don't know. You can correct me if you like, but when you smell something and it takes you right back to a moment in time, my coworker sells that scentsy stuff, that wax warmer stuff, and I like it. So judge if you want, but whatever. After I clocked out, I was sniffing some of the new scents that she has and I picked up this one it's called Juicy Peach and I immediately put it back and then I had this sudden flash that I was 16 years old again and it was an immediate I'm not buying that shit kind of reaction and it took me a minute to realize what I was thinking or feeling. And it's like, when I was 16, I used to wear this peach lotion. And that smell is just like permeated everything. I mean, I'm I, at one point thought it was a good smell, but it's not a bad smell. It just took me back to a moment in time that I don't want to feel. <laughs> when I was... 15, two weeks before I turned 16, um, I moved into my own apartment. My mom had, um, she was getting married for the fourth time, I think, and moved away, moved a couple states away, and I didn't want to move anymore. I'd already gone to 15 different schools between kindergarten and ninth grade, and I was a cheerleader, and I was going to be editor of my yearbook the next year, and finally like settled into a home and she decided she wanted to move away and I didn't want to go she let me stay in my own apartment at age 15 and um it was a really hard time And there, no matter how much therapy or medications you take or whatever, there are some hurts that don't ever go away. And every now and then, something will trigger those emotions. And before any of you start trying to tell me uh, what kind of narcissist or psychopath or whatever it is you want to call me films himself crying. I'm not filming myself crying. I cry because I have feelings and there's nothing wrong with that. And when they come up, I let them flow because that's the only way to be okay. I'm filming myself talking to you about my feelings and I happen to be crying while I'm videoing. And there are some of you that want to hear what I have to say. So that's what I'm filming. So don't even bother in the comments trying to judge me for crying on camera because that's not what's happening. But when you smell something and it takes you right back to a moment in time and sometimes it's positive and wonderful and amazing, but that peach smell took me back to a time in my life that was really hard for me. And it's harder in hindsight than it was while I was going through it. Because while I was going through it, I didn't have time to f worry about that shit. But now that I am 51 years old and a mother, there's no way that I would ever have left my children behind in their own apartment at age 15, 16. Under no circumstances would I have ever done that. And we all do the best we can with what we know at the time. But honestly, there are some things that you should know without having to be taught. So don't abandon your children. I don't care how mature you are at age 15 or 16. You need you need the guidance and support of a steadfast, solid parent. And that is not something I had in my life. So, for those of you that had to be your own parent, I want you to know you're not alone. There's a lot of us in Gen X that had to go through that shit. 
And I think that probably most of us overparented our own children because of how we felt that we were neglected. I won't be buying that juicy peach scentsy anytime soon. But I do like the sunkissed citrus and I'm excited about trying the surfer chick and the, I don't know, the poolside something or other. And maybe after working three 12 hour night shifts in a row isn't the best time for me to put myself on camera. But um, I was just thinking things and feeling things. And um, last time I was in this kind of mood and posted about it, um, a lot of you uh, liked getting to know me on that level and were very supportive. And um, I'm just keeping it real here. Living this life, overcoming my childhood trauma like so many of us are. And um, Juicy Peach is not the business for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tamp that shit back down, put it in its compartment where it stays until the moment where it comes out. And that's okay. And it just so happens that it's Independence Day here in America. So um, I've been pretty independent for most of my life. Happy Independence Day to my sisters and my brothers that had to raise themselves. They're very useful skills we learned. So we got that going for us. <laughs>